guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I want to talk about the 11.3.1 jailbreak, just to give you guys an update to tell you where it's at, what to expect, all that good stuff, what's going on in the jailbreak scene in regards to that. And also, I wanted to talk about a brand new jailbreak that was released yesterday. Now, the thing about this jailbreak is, is it seems to be from a very sketchy source. I actually haven't seen anybody that has tried to install this yet, but there's a lot of really bad information about the developer uh, of this jailbreak. The name of the jailbreak is the Xiang Lang Team Jailbreak. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's in Chinese. So the Zalian team is supposedly five people in China that worked really hard on this jailbreak, put it together, and released it. But after some digging from Pwn to Own on Twitter, he actually tweeted out, it turns out that the latest Electra knockoff jailbreak, which is this one that we're talking about here, for iOS 11.2.x was actually made by iJap IJO. Apparently, he has a history of releasing fake and broken stuff, so you should seriously stay away from that. And then we have another tweet from Laughing Quill. If you want proof that the Zhao Liang team is this iJap person, here's a 7-zip looking at some of the packages of the Zhao Liang repo. And you can see that the user, the owner of those files, is that specific iJap user. And there was another Twitter user that goes by the name Haraku that said, actually, the Xiao Liang team doesn't know any Chinese. Their logo and name are totally meaningless, which, I mean, that's a pretty big red flag uh, for people that are claiming to be five Chinese people and they're just like making up Chinese stuff. I don't know. That's just <laughs> anyway, stay away from that jailbreak. There's no there's no reason whatsoever to dig into that when the Electra jailbreak is right on the precipice of being released. So now let's talk about Electra and the 11.3.1 .1 jailbreak. So this is very possibly going to be released. It could be any day now at this point. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be today and not gonna be tomorrow, but it literally could be, I don't know. It could be very, very soon. Just to kind of catch you up to speed, if you follow Coolstar on Twitter, you'll notice that he's, uh, in the past couple of days, he sent out tweets showing his jailbroken iPad, where he obviously has some tweaks installed. You can see uh, some of the pictures that I'm showing right here. He's got Anemone installed, so he's been able to theme his device. Uh, you also see like Zeppelin up in the top left-hand corner that allows you to change the carrier name. You can see Cydia installed. And you can actually see uh, on this screenshot that there's a new Electra icon. And, you know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too jazzed about the Electra icon. Does it really matter? I'm more worried about the jailbreak code than I am the jailbreak icon, but I don't know. I get that it's supposed to be a lightning bolt inside the E. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Let me know what you guys think about the Electra icon in the comments below. So of course, drama and jailbreak basically go hand in hand at this point. You can't have one without the other. You can have drama without the jailbreak, but you can't have jailbreak without the drama. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is these days. So of course, the past couple of days, there's been a little bit of drama in the Twitterverse in regards to the jailbreak. What's happening is the same thing that's always happening, and that's that the ETA kids are just spamming developers asking for when the jailbreak's gonna release and just being incredibly annoying as usual. So Coolstar takes to his own Twitter account and kinda sorta tries to defuse the situation by kinda sorta creating more drama. I don't know if the kinda sorta, he, okay, let me just tell you what he does. So right before we get into that, the only thing that's left in this jailbreak is there's a remount bug that needs to be fixed by a specific developer. This is not done by Coolstar. So once that's fixed, then it can be implemented into Electra and then they can push a public release of the jailbreak and then it's done. That's it, that's all that's gotta be done. So Coolstar goes to Twitter and he says, hey, listen, if you don't stop spamming the developers, then it's very possible that the remount bug is not gonna be fixed. So what happens if the remount bug is not fixed? That means that you literally only get an enemy on your iOS 11.3.1 .1 jailbreak. That's it, because it's installed with the jailbreak. 11.2.x should be able to be jailbroken fully, but 11.3 and up, you don't get any tweaks. You can't install any tweaks. And that's probably gonna make a jailbreak pretty useless for a lot of the users. So whether or not that actually worked or whether or not that stirred up more drama, I don't know. I can tell you that the only thing that's left in the jailbreak is for that remount bug to be fixed. And then once that's done, we should have a public release of the jailbreak very soon right after that. So to recap, stay away from the Xeon Lang team jailbreak. 
There's no point in risking your data to jailbreak right now when the electric jailbreak is right around the corner for the exact same firmware and it's also going to support 11.3.1. And for the electric jailbreak, we only have one more bug to be fixed and then hopefully we're gonna see a public release very soon right after that. Also, real quick, I'm posting a whole lot more to Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, check me out in the description below. Um, I really like Instagram, but like nobody comments. Like, why is nobody talking to me? Somebody say something, I'll talk with you. I can see all those comments, I can interact. We can, we can have a conversation on Instagram. Now, if you don't wanna follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Twitter. That's where I do a lot of the jailbreak updates, so if you wanna stay up to date with that, or you know, I make fun of Apple, I try to be funny sometimes, I'm not funny, but I try my best, that's all I can do. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna stay up to date with all the jailbreak news and Apple news and tech stuff that I wanna cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, I'll put up a video as soon as I can once the jailbreak is released on showing you guys how to do that and tweaks, all that good stuff, so you guys will be ready to customize your phone as quickly as possible. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.